Please understand you're performing this repair at your own risk. We cannot be held responsible for any injuries or damage done to your device while attempting a repair. To complete this repair, we're going to need a small torque screwdriver, small flathead screwdriver, in addition to one or two case opener tools. Our first step is to open up the iPod. And we're going to wedge our case opener tool in between the front and back housing. It'll help if you press on the back in the center, not too hard, but just enough so that it brings the rear casing slightly away from the front, allowing us to wedge our tool in there. With our tool wedged between the housing, we're going to apply a down and outward force along the right side of the iPod to release these clips. Once we free the clips on this half of the iPod, we're able to open up the back casing to the right. Now be careful, because there is still a cable attached leading to the headphone jack and hold switch assembly. And there's also adhesive holding the bend and the cable together. Our next step will be to remove the hard drive. So we're going to have to bend the cable up slightly at the top, so we can grab a hold of the cable and pull the drive downwards. Be careful not to bend any of the small pins on the hard drive cable while removing the drive. We'll now go ahead and unplug the cable leading to the headphone jack and hold switch assembly so that we can separate the back and front housing. Next we're going to go ahead and remove the black tape that's covering the hard drive cable as it is partly adhered to the battery. We now have one torque screw to remove to allow us access to the wires leading to the battery which are tucked beneath the board. Now the battery is held in with adhesive so we're going to take our small flathead screwdriver and pry upwards as demonstrated in the video. We'll then slide the wires out from underneath the logic board and then we can simply unplug our old battery. We'll now grab our replacement battery and insert it where the old one was. And we're going to want to tuck the wires beneath the board before we put that screw back in. We'll now plug the battery's cable back into the logic board port. Next, we'll reapply the black piece of tape over the hard drive cable. We'll now plug the headphone jack and hold switch cable back into the logic board. There is a black notch on the hard drive cable, which you can use as a guide to plug the hard drive back in. We'll now close up the iPod by applying pressure on all sides and making sure the front and rear housings are flush. You can find all the parts and tools necessary to complete this repair at our website. Thanks for watching.